thing you see here. We could create this thing in probably 10 minutes. Yeah, we could try it out. Now let's let's do something. This same page you see here, let me show you how it was created. So I'm going to use this as a template so you understand. And I'm going to delete everything here. So you see that designing actually is very easy. Now, this is what it looks like. Assume that this thing you see is your phone screen, right? This is your phone screen, the phone that you're holding. And I say, okay, this is my phone. This is my phone. It's an iPhone. It's an Android phone. Just assume that's your phone screen. For every phone screen, there's a dimension, which means the size, the width, and the height. How long is it and how wide is it, basically? Now, the fact that it has a width and the height is basically telling you that whatever you're trying to fit into it needs to look extremely good and perfect so that once somebody sees it, it's able to catch an attention. Now, let me explain. This is a logo, right? This is a text, which basically means something you read. Now, this is a field where you expect somebody to either put his email or username. And this is another field where you expect somebody to put a password. And this is a link where you expect somebody to click if the person has forgotten this password. So if you have used many social apps and you've logged in, you've created an account, they're most likely used to most of all these things, right? Now, the funny thing is people think it's really hard to create these things. The hard part of design is think. The hardest part of designing is thinking. The easiest part of design is representation. What you've thought, now write it down, which basically means sketch it out. Now look at this. I'm trying to work on an idea. So this is a sketch of the idea I'm trying to work out on something that I'm supposed to do. When you're sketching things, they don't really look nice, right? Don't have it in mind that it's going to be fine. A sketch is supposed to bring the idea to a detail so I can be able to take that idea and say, yes, this is what it does. But in the end goal, the value of that idea, right, is the design that you have in an output. So let's just use 10 minutes to create this quickly. Then we can now be able to ask whatever questions we want to ask. Now, first is we have a logo. We have something called this, this thing you see here that you're not really interacting with. It's called the background, right? Now, to create this background, all you need is, if you look at the shape, it looks like a rectangle. So on the left side of the tool, you have all the shapes. You have the move tool, rectangle tool, over tool, triangle, line, pen, text. So all these things you see here are what we use to create this thing you could call here. Uh, it's a visual, this is a UI, right? Now, the first thing you obviously want to do is understand how to create all these entities. Hi, everyone. Yeah, Hi, I'm, I'm very sure you're enjoying your classes, but we'll be ending our breakout room and we'll close all breakout room in five minutes. So oh, please do well to start rounding off. You'll be requested to join the main session in five minutes. Thank you. So that's exactly 731. Thank you. Okay, so let's quickly do this. So the first thing is we pick probably this tool called like a square here. And once you have that tool selected, what you're trying to tell the system is I want to draw something that is related to this. So once you draw it anywhere, you have that shape, right? Now, this shape you see, you have the size here and you have the colors here. So you could decide that, okay, I want to make this thing black. And I want to ensure that, okay, I want to be able to stretch it because it's a background. So I click the move tool and move it here and just stretch it till I have it covering this whole thing. So I've indirectly created something similar to this background, right? Now I have something that represents an image. So I could just go anywhere on my computer and drag it to be the logo. So for this instance, let's just assume we copy this and we just paste it. So you drag it somewhere here right now if you notice this is telling you that there's something on top of this guy giving it that overlay kind of effect and what is an overlay is when you put something on something to represent what's behind it in a very opaque way so when you're designing things the most important thing is to always know the location where am i and if you remember our graph when we we're in school we had x and y axis so x axis 
to the right, y axis to the top. That's the same way design works. So everything you drag, you're dragging it across the x axis, so you're dragging it across the y axis. And how do you know? If I put this logo here and I look to this side, I could see that it's telling me I am on 111.32 on the x axis and I am 32.5 on the y axis. It's basic English. Now, if I want to write this, I could say, okay, fine. To write this text, I just click on this T called the text tool. And I just click anywhere on it and type what I want to say. Maybe welcome to masterclass is our, our title. Now, once I type a text, I could either just click to drag, or I could come to the right here and increase the size because it's too small. I could just make this 20. Now, once you be able to type a text, you can also be able to write every other thing. You could copy it and paste it and change it to anything you want. The copy and paste is the same way you copy and paste in any, any tool called Control C and Control V, Control. That's the same thing. There's no difference. So the design tool shortcuts are almost close to what you do in your Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. There's no difference. So if I say, uh, welcome to. Our first class, let's just assume this is our first class. And let's call this uh, master class. Um, uh, let's say master class next gen. And now, obviously, when you're designing, you need to create things in a way where what is bigger has more value for me to read first before what is below. So, which is what we call hierarchy. So, definitely, I'm going to make this look big in emphasis. So, I probably click bold. You can see the difference and this i'll probably reduce the size a bit to like maybe 14 and i'll just leave it here and what it's telling you is that this looks like a heading like a title and this looks like a description now you can see this part of it is called a text view and it's very easy all you need to do is click the arrow button or you click the rectangle and you just create a shape and once you draw you draw the shape in a way that you obviously know that it can contain the information you need. But everything here in design are done with specifications. And whatever you're designing for, if you're designing for Android, there's a specification. If you're designing for iOS, there's a specification. So everything you see here were just created with text, shapes, and lines. So I believe if you have the opportunity to come to NextGen, you will learn how to even create prototypes with these shapes, lines and all these things we see on the screen because from this these are what you now use to create even the roman systems we have today that everybody uses that you have your bvns and all that stuff is interfaces like this that we use to create such kind of solutions so i'll be expecting your questions in the main room and i'll be expecting any other thing you want to clarify so i'll see you there and thank you so much for joining this session. It was a pleasure sharing with you.